All right, a little recap from where we last left off, as it's been uh, been a couple of weeks here. Our party has been traveling westward into the Great Sand Sea, uh, west of the continent of Marmaria. They were traveling this direction for a few different reasons. One was to find a mystical cure-all herb known as the Lily of the Lunar Well in order to assist uh, King Bahum and the spiritual ailment that is currently corrupting his soul. Uh, second was to attempt to find favor with the god of war, Vander, in their attempts to try to stop the bleeding god from coming back into fruition. In their journey, they met up with a giant and his faithful direhound companion named Spike. As they traveled westward, they also ran into a tr uh, several tribes of the northern bank of the mostly dried up river as they headed towards the town of Oasis where Vander resides. They met a tribe of skinwalkers that's uh, basically a peaceful group of lycanthropes trying to live off the land where they discovered that Vander has been starving this land of nutrients and water. Uh, traveling further, they met a... Well, actually, first they met a group of fire newts, which they were quickly able to dissuade from attacking and uh, managed to continue on their travels. They also ran into a, ca a cavern full of very dead troglodytes, uh, as well as one lone matriarch and uh, several children left living. They discovered that uh, it was potentially the work of Solomon and his band of drow that took out this cavern. Traveling further, they ran into a group of a uh, tribe of centaur who were uh, there to try to stop them from advancing by the order of Theranak, one of the children of Vander, who they had managed to upset when they uh, provided water for the people of the town of Solitude, the uh, tribe of lycanthropes. Eventually, they made it to the town of Damhammer, where Theranak finally met them in combat in the open field. This battle was long and bloody, but uh, our heroes managed to survive through the, uh, by the skin of their teeth, most of them almost falling several times in the battle. At the end of the battle, Theranak crackled with energy and exploded. This energy seemed to dissipate upon uh, Dogen, who had shielded them from this massive electric ionic blast. But it also summoned forth Vander himself, the god of war, to see who had bested one of his children in battle. It was then that they learned that Dogen himself was in fact one of the children of Vander. And in an attempt to goad Dogen into conflict, Vander killed Spike. In a blind rage, Dogood flew at Vander, slamming him hard, and with a mighty backhand, Vander dropped Dogood to the ground, giving the party an ultimatum. Either bring them either bring him Dogood's head, or come to Oasis as his enemy. It's the first time I made it all the way through that song. It has an ending? Apparently. Mm. Uh, cool. So, your makeshift funeral for Spike has role, uh, has concluded. Uh, Dogood has marched off to be on his own. And, uh, yeah, you guys are kind of just sitting at the edge of Damn Hammer. Still mm. early in the uh, evening. The, the sun didn't go down too long ago. The battlefield has, for the most part, been cleared. The bodies either put into a pit or burned in a pyre. I imagine we are. Uh, the, is this is immediately post battle? It's, it's been a few hours. Like I said, the battlefield has been uh, cleared. Uh, a lot of the dead or wounded have been uh, dealt with, uh, and you guys have 
finished your funeral, like the funeral pyre that uh, you made for Spike is slowly dying out. So it's 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 still early in the evening, as I said, but you are uh, yeah. It's it's been a bit since you guys have finished up. You you have the equivalent of a short rest worth of health back. Okay. Short rest as I've I'm not still done I'm still going into a long rest because I need to. That's fine. So I'm I'm catatonic at the moment. Yeah, asmo asmo. <laughs> yeah, a, a good chunk of you, uh, specifically asmo and uh, Wolfgang, you guys got all sorts of your ass handed to you throughout that fight, uh, nearly meeting your maker several times. There's only one way to yeah, kill me. Wolf, Wolfgang is just clutching his his side, and his his uh, he's pretty sure a couple of his fingers are broken. Asmo's just covered in one piece bandages, <laughs> miraculously yep. healing him. Just one piece bandages, just <laughs> up the left side of his body where he got destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, your your armor has been like chunked at. Uh, it's it's battle damage. You might be able to get it repaired. Uh, the breastplate is still okay, though, right? Oh, the yeah, the breastplate it has nicks and tears in it, but it it still functions as it should. Good. It's ju it just looks now. raggedy right now. Uh, well, yep, that's that's the day. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys wanted to do anything inside the town of Damhammer, uh, before he uh, before he parted with you, Harper gave his sincerest thanks for what you guys had done for his clan, uh, and that if you needed anything, you could just come to him. He's probably still down in Damhammer trying to calm the populace and keep things in order. What's T Wig doing right now? Sleeping. Yeah, T Wig is doing the equivalent I of have sleeping. Nothing. So I immediately go into into um, like my my recharge state. Yeah, T Wig is just kind of staring blankly at the uh, embers of the pyre you've been sitting in front of. <clears throat> As it just kind of like painfully gets up. Ah! 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 Your pot and cracks. Uh, I'm not gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go see what this town has that passes off as a pub. I'm gonna go into that pub and I am going to drink an unyielding amount of alcohol. You are all free to join me, or not. Good night, either way. That's what turns and walks away. <sighs> I am going to see if I can go get my j jacket upgraded. <sighs> All right, so you're going to travel with I've... Asmo? Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll go to the town and we'll split off and we'll we'll find him a bar first and then he'll probably go to the armory. How about you, Denier? What's your Denier plan? doesn't like the fact that everybody's just walking off, leaving an innate T-Wig just sitting there. So Denier's going to stay with T-Wig for a little bit. Uh, he's going to try to cast Mending on T-Wig to repair whatever damages he can. And he's going to wait for them to come back. I was ready for you to say, I'm going to walk up to T-Wig and pick them up like a fucking standee at a, at a chaos. <laughs> Put it back up again at the end of it. You got you to gotta sell those, those iron giants. I can't shrink you. I don't. I only have uh, I only have one spell slot left. I do not wish to be shrunk either way. So, yeah, I'm gonna at least for a little bit. Denier's going to use mending. Uh, it does say that mending can be used to assist in the repair of constructs. Don't know how much I can mend with T Wig, but I'm going to do that, and I'm going to uh, just keep an eye on T Wig, repair T Wig as I can. Uh, if I say that the, the long rest is probably going to heal any like metaphysical damage uh but using mending you can reattach different shit like t-wig got battered quite a bit in that conflict as well so yeah. you're basically uh, patching up any rough gouges that have been taken out of t-wig's exoskeleton 
and um, trying to restore Tiwig to like new conditions, basically. Yep. Uh, any kind of teeth that Dogen left on the battlefield, I would have collected. And as soon as either Wolfgang or Asmo come back, Denier's going to go to the uh, Green Seer, and he's going to uh, talk to the Green Seer and look at the library. All right, we'll tackle this in order then. Yep. Asmo, you and Wolfgang start wandering down towards Damhammer. Your muscles, now that you've had a moment to rest and you are beginning to feel every single ounce of that pain. It is, it is near agony as you are trying to drag your bodies back down into this town. Luckily, it's a downhill trip, but... Man, you you are feeling every single muscle in your body as you are walking, as it just throbs in this disgusting pulse. Okay, now, real quick here. Does lovely, beautiful Denier have his wonderful tower up right now? Yeah, yeah, it's it's been up for the uh, entirety of the battle. It's still sitting where it was. Asmo is going to start unfastening his breastplate and stuff, and, like, uh, uh, taps it a little bit. Against his sword, ding, ding. I guess that freaking worked. Hey, didn't have this, I might be dead. Yeah, as you unfasten it, a, a large amount of pressure is reduced from your chest from the uh, fact that as you're looking at it, when you take it off, a good chunk of it has been made, like, concave from some of the damage that you had taken. Like, it, it was pressing in on your chest. Um, God or not, that guy hit like a damn wagon. God, look at this. As we just hold it to his left, so a very tired wolf gang can look at it. Oh, I'm aware. Not for nothing, but that was about as close as I ever want to get. Now I'm going to go into this bar. And where should I drop this off at the Armorsmith first? Ah, which, which is closer? Now? I'm going Do to I the know? armorsmith anyway, so I could I could take your breastplate. I'm going to the armorsmith. A- anyway. Asmo does, just it just puts it in his hand, doesn't even say thank you, and Asmo goes right to the bar. All right, you start making Great. your way toward. Uh, they, there is a lot of revelry going on. Uh, it, it's it's not very hard to hear. There's definitely a saloon nearby. As you're kind of turning the corner from the town center, where that uh, ziggurat stands. Uh, near the foot of the dam and the uh, armorsmith it's actually kind of around the corner and down a ways from the armorsmith but you hear the tavern as you approach there's uh, a lot of uh, what sound like percussive chanting which you're kind of making out for uh, orcish bardic like a bardic uh, performances or Perfect. whatever they have for the equivalents it, it sounds like uh, European football chants, basically. Bunch like of hooligans. Just, this, Bunch yeah, of damn this, hooligans they are. They're, you don't really speak the language, but uh, you get a hint of sorrow in it. You also get this massive sense of uh, kind of like, congratu- like self-congratulations or pride that come from this chance. But as you make your way in, you swing past the two double doors that uh, lead into this saloon. And uh, everybody here uh, stops and looks, and some of the orcs that look really kind of battle damaged and battle, like, that look like they've been fucked up in some way, raise a stein towards you and just... Because... Word has already traveled. Word has definitely circulated from your deeds, and several of the larger ones come, slap their arms around you. Uh, You find it difficult to stay conscious as the percussive force of their arm wrapping around you just racks your entire body with pain. You grin and bear it as they drag you in, and they just start pushing drinks and food at you. Excellent. I have space for that. Yes, you do. Uh, meanwhile, Wolfgang, uh, you stop in at the armor, uh, the armory. Uh, as you pull back the curtain and walk inside, uh, you see that Harper is already there, and he and the uh, armorsmith are in a deep embrace. You remember that uh, the armorsmith 
just happened to be the uh, mate of uh, Valentine, of Harper Valentine. Uh, mm -hmm. When they notice that you've come in, he looks up, kind of, uh, come back? kind of puts his uh, forehead to hers and leans back. No, no, uh, you're you're fine. Sorry. Uh. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> also, for the record, Wolfgang would have asked Denier what he was going to do before he took off. For the record, well, you didn't. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you got a lot on your mind right now. Yep. Uh, the armor smith yeah, died. Uh, leans back from uh, Harper's embrace, looks towards you. You have... Uh, How? <clears throat> she, she looks to Harper. You were brave. Harper nods. <coughs> Thank you. I was just doing... I was just doing my job. Anyway, um, a bit of our equipment got banged up in the fighting, and I was wondering if you could do a couple of repairs on this. And he slides forth the mithril breastplate. Uh, seeing the damage that was done to this very hardy but light metal, her face almost seems to go a bit paler, uh, as pale as a verdant green face can become as she realizes exactly how strong these foes must have been. Uh, looks, her eyes dart to Harper for a moment, who just kind of, like, nods and shrugs a little bit, and then back over to you. Of course. You're free of <clears throat> charge, absolutely. And I was wondering if uh, you could attach some metal studs to this, and he'll, he'll, hold, he'll hand over his leather jacket. There's leather overcoat. Uh, she utters a few phrases in Orcish. Says that's a fine duster you got there. She should be able to do something with it. It's passed down to my family for generations. And then she'll try not to mess with its aesthetics too much, I imagine. He uh, says a few phrases in Orcish back to her. She nods, uh, seemingly in understanding and uh, looks to you, uh, looks to Harper, utters another phrase in Orcish. Uh, what kind of time frame are you looking at? Um, we're supposed to head out in the morning, I believe. All right. He uh, starts to pull his duster down. Looks like you'll need some assistance. And he uh, gets kind of behind the counter with her. We'll get it done for you. I appreciate it. After what you did for us, say nothing. And if you need a quick way to Oasis, and I think the silver lining of all this is uh, our would-be invaders just gave us the perfect way to get there in only a few hours. Uh, what might that be? That boat they docked just outside of town. Hmm. Anyway... It's been a long time since I've been sailing. Well, can't say I got too much experience in that field neither, but... If those stoneheads can do it, what's to say we can't? Fair All enough. Right. We'll get to work on this for you. You, uh... I appreciate it. You lot gonna be held up in that cannon tower out there? Probably. And speaking of which, I should probably head back. I just realized I left two of my friends there by themselves. Based on the rest of you, it looks like you can take care of yourselves just fine. I'll have this delivered for you. And, uh... <clears throat> Thank you. Mr. Connolly. Hmm? We owe you a great debt. But, if you are taking place in that tournament, as I assume you are, my hands are tied. He just kind of gives you a knowing look. He, he sort of just tilts his head to the side a little bit and closes his eyes, nods once. 
And then he leaves. You can hear the sound of uh, hammering begin behind you, uh, as well as uh, orcish conversation. As you step out, you can hear that same revelry going on around the corner. Uh, we'll pop back in there as uh, Asmo. You are, you are the toast of this. Ta you are the toast of this saloon. The whole time you're uh, here, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Ah, ah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately <laughs> for you, not many of them understand basic, but <laughs> they are just—they are psyched to have you here. They are like. They're, they're like pulling back your band, just looking at your scars. But they just keep uh, shoveling food and drink at you. Excellent. He's gonna be—he's gonna come back as a different cartoon style Asmo with a big pot belly. <laughs> yeah, these are these are not appropriate tavern sounds for what I'm going for here. But you know what? <laughs> I'm just imagining the local football team just won. Yeah, no, they are uh, they are progressively getting more and more intoxicated. They keep busting out more and more uh, just barrels of liquor, some of which uh, smell so strong, even you are kind of uh, hesitant to take a sip. Like, you dip your tongue in a, a glass of it, because, like, people keep shoveling this stuff at you. You dip your tongue in one of these things, and it's just, like... It burns the tip of your tongue, and then it goes all the way down. You can taste bitterness from this that's beyond... A deep uh, bitterness. Yeah, it's it's deep. Almost like... Almost like it's enchanted to be more alcoholic than is possible. <laughs> uh, Wolfgang, you make the agonizing trip back toward the uh, camp where Denier has been... Slowly but surely mending uh, the shards of metal that have uh, come off of Tiwig's exoskeleton. Tiwig's looking uh, pretty much like Tiwig's self at this point. And uh, Denier, as you finish remending one of Tiwig's fingers so that uh, the joint will properly work again. You hear some shuffling from behind you, and you see a coatless wolf gang walking towards you. Back already, <clears throat> eh? I figured I shouldn't leave you two out here alone. Yeah, I was you thinking seemed like you were pretty thing. topped after the battle. Yeah, I used everything I had. Thankfully, I've been able to get one spell back, but I don't have much left. Hmm. I've got enough to get Tiwig back to, back in order. I don't like the I don't like leaving my friends with a gaping wound in their chest. Lightly taps on Tiwig's Tiwig's chest plate. Yeah. Seems Just almost bees, as bees begin to rumble inside of Tiwig's chest plate. <laughs> yeah, you hear a light bees buzzing. Powered up. <laughs> Clank, 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 clank. I've always imagined them as robot bees to make them more terrifying somehow. <laughs> well, they're real bees. Yeah, they're, they're, they are fat. They are real bees. <laughs> bees. <clears throat> you did good work today. Thanks. It. That power scares me a little bit. You know? What, what I does? did today. Oh, with the... Right. Just with a snap of the fingers, somebody that had a life, that had a spirit, had friends, had family, reduced to nothing but ash with just a wave of the fingers. It's terrifying how intoxicating it can be. sort of winces a little bit at the phrase intoxicating. It scares it's... me. You should be scared. But at the same time, know that you use your power. You use this power for the right reasons. I know what's in your heart, Denier, it's good. I don't think you would ever 
use it for ill. Wolfgang, may I ask you something I'm not sure how to ask the others? What's that? How do you deal with a guilty conscience? How do you deal with the wrong that you've done in the past that seems to be haunting you? You try to be better than that. Whatever you may be feeling guilty about, you have to put more good into the world than you took out. At least that's my philosophy. That's why I kind of stopped charging people for my services and just, you know, began doing it to make the world better. Yeah. I'm I'm no saint, Denier. I've done a lot of bad things in the past. Two bad people, mostly. But we have to be better. Otherwise, otherwise, what are we? Just like them? Yeah, I, I suppose. I mean, looking at people like the Jester and Solomon, they can do these things and they feel nothing. But every time I close my eyes, I just... I see Bahum with that look of utter betrayal. He haunts me. I, I reach out and I grab both of his shoulders. That wasn't you. It that was wasn't. dark forces that we barely begun to understand. I should have been able and to stop we, it, though. You can't put that burden on yourself alone, Denier. Denier just nods. And he goes a bit silent, but he gives a little bit of a smile. You know we're here for it, for each other. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Wolfgang. I think we'll I... We'll get through this. Yeah. I, I just... I think I needed to talk to somebody about this. It's... It's been eating me up for a little bit. Yeah. We all missed you. I missed everybody as well. I didn't like having to go all the way up there, making the deals I had to make. But I did what I had to do, and I think I made it somewhat all right. Hopefully the dragons will see it that way. They'll come around. They're bullheaded and not necessarily of clean conscience as well as we've come to learn, but they'll come around if we present the evidence. I already have some pretty significant evidence. I managed to clear my name, at least in the north. The... Archmage knows that I am of my sound mind, and I managed to prove myself to the Wizzlesteins as well. You've certainly been busy. Oh, you have no idea. I should tell you some of my stories. Tell you some, well, some of the folks got, I met. We got nothing better to do. Just sit and rest and wait for the morning to come. Well, I think I should have a talk with the Green Seer, though. No doubt she's going to have some information to have, and she's got a library. 
And I think there might be some magic in there waiting for me. Hmm. Well, I would offer to pick up Teewig and come with you, but I don't think I'm well enough to at the moment. <clears throat> you too, I can just uh, I can cast an alarm spell around Teewig so that if anybody comes close, we'll know about it. I just don't like leaving Teewig sitting here by, by themselves like this. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean down and try to hoist Teewig up over my shoulder <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and uh, go ahead and give me athletics with advantage then with uh... I just wanna point out before you do that that I am cognitively aware of everything that's going on around me right now. But We don't know that. You guys don't know yeah. that. So Jeez, say something. <laughs> I can't. I'm I'm in a state. I All can't. Right. Go ahead. I'm gonna heave you up athletics, athletics with, with advantage. advantage. Yep. Twelve. <laughs> Good thing too, because the other was a two. <laughs> All right, you're you're not really able to get Teewig up over your shoulder uh, due to their oh. construction. You're able to kind of like lift Teewig and get them standing. Like to Teewig, it probably feels the equivalent of what it would be like if you sleepwalked. Uh, but you think you might be able to move them like this. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll just... <laughs> okay, Wolfgang, put Teewig's arm over your shoulder, I'll get this arm, and we each grab a leg, mm -hmm. and we'll try to puppet Teewig back to the tower. All right. We are weakened at burning Teewig at the moment. I'll, I'll say that uh, the way you maneuver Teewig, uh, it, it's essentially like... Teewig is sleepwalking. Teewig, you're you're fully aware of everything going on around you, and you're kind of moving inside, unconsciously. Inside of, inside of my brain. Whoa, this is weird. <laughs> but yeah, it almost as if just like they doing? with unconscious motor memory, your legs just kick one forward, one forward, one forward, and just walk with them as they take you over to the tower. It's like when a room <clears throat> goes off on its own; it just starts moving weird. <laughs> yeah, you get Teewig set up in the uh, in the tower. Obviously, you're not getting them up the up the first story, but they're uh, they're set nicely in the room. lounge room on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah, place to rest, rest them on a couch and make sure they got plenty of room. Yep. You got food other than the rations, Wolfgang. <sighs> see <clears throat> I have uh, he's just rooting through his bag right now bunch of bullets component pouch why do I have that oh. just imagining uh, like a single frame and you just your hands constantly pulling up different things I I toss uh, Wolfgang some of the dried meat that I traded for Mm. Thank you. Better than trail rations. And Denier heads out to the Green Seers, the Chieftainess's palace. All right. You make your way back down to Dam Hammer. Uh, your muscles ache significantly less than pretty much anyone else's, as you were not uh, in the forefront of that battle. Mm -hmm. And you make it down to the uh, Ziggurats. As you make it up the stairs, you hear the same, uh, you actually hear some tinkering going on within, uh, the, the, uh, floor where you found the, uh, gnome originally. As you enter, the green seer is standing almost as if, like, expecting you. Denier gives a little bit of a smile, and he bows a bit. Good evening. I trust that you were expecting me. I was. Yes. The battle went better than expected. The battle went as expected. As foretold. Ah. So you knew even beforehand, but... Didn't yes. want to... Didn't want to misguide us. 
and thinking it would be too easy. Many visions have come. In what order, I know not. I see. And Denier pulls his hood back slowly. Thankfully, many of we were able to save as many of your people as we could. With your help, your forewarning made this preparation much easier. A slight benefit to my curse. Her uh, crusted, moss-covered eyes almost seem to kind of wince a little bit. Yes, although curses are a tricky thing, but once you get around them and you're able to use them to your advantage, that, how do I say this? It's about being able to live with the curse and being able to adapt with it. Each person has their own curse. You know much of curses. Your own you bear. As I well do. as those of others. Your sight does not fail you. Nor shall it ever until I pass beyond. We plan to leave it in, in the morning. Is there anything else that we may be able to do to assist you or your people? Perhaps. Perhaps it is the time. She wanders over to a, uh, a shelf. Her eyes kind of, her hands kind of blindly reaching out and feeling various things. Mm-hmm. Yes. She comes back with a uh, what appears to be an idol, like a a. It seems to be in the shape of an elephant's trunk, and it looks to be carved out of uh, bone. Mm -hmm. Or the best you can see is it looks like bone. This is meant for you, I believe. For me. And yes, there will come a time as the world shakes. Two massive shadows clash. The air screams. And all seems lost. You have this. You have my gratitude, Green Seer. When that I time it. comes, I will make I sure it's... It not. Hmm? I simply do the bidding of the vision. Whatever... You had a request when you first left. Yes. Knowledge. Yes. It is a quest that I find myself on frequently. To be able to try to thwart this great shadow, the two great beasts that are coming, knowledge must be had. And with your permission, I do not want to take, but I simply want to look and see if knowledge can be acquired. All within this domain is that of the chiefess, but find what you seek. In the gnome's bed you shall, under the mattress. I see. You know, it's... Thank you, Greenseer. It was foretold, so it shall be. Denier nods. He procures the elephant trunk, stowing it away. Yeah, it's, um... It's, it's approximately... 
uh, eight inches long with a slight curve near the end. It looks almost to be uh, like a hollow tube, uh, almost like a, a flute of some sort. Okay, a bone elephant trunk flute. Yes. All right. And Daenir is going to walk, uh, he's going to bow, take his leave, and walk downstairs. Uh, you can see uh, Brickslight, the little gnome that uh, you met here previously, just kind of fervently wandering around this room, uh, tinkering with a few... Th uh, he definitely has some stuff on his uh, tinkering desk, uh, but he also has what appears to be a bag set aside uh, full of various articles. Uh, you startle him as you walk down. <laughs> it's just me, friend. Yes, uh, De Denier, correct. Correct? That's correct. Uh, I take it the battle fared b better than expected. Well, we're still standing here. Many of the townspeople are still standing here, and Theranak is not. Wonderful. 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 That's, that's, that's wonderful news. The, uh, townsfolk are fine and all that. Yes. Yes. Denier just stares at him a little bit. Yeah, he knows that he he knows that a brick slide is being held against his will. Yeah. It's one of those things where sometimes you have to wait for just the right opportunity. This was an opportunity for you to show how useful and capable you are to the Green Seer. Without your cannon, without your device, this battle would have been far more difficult. Well, it's not her that I have to worry about. It's the chiefess. Once she returns, hopefully... <sighs> he uh, kind of, like, sighs to himself as if, like, he realizes his own language seems to be, uh... that he has accepted his fate. Mm-hmm. What brings you, you down here? Well, the Green Seer has given me some information. I seek knowledge. I am always on the seek for knowledge, as are many of those in Iceforge. I'm well aware. I've come to ask of you. The Green Seer had the Green Seer is aware of something in your possession. His eyes, uh, widen. What, she, what, what does she know? Under your bed. His eyes wince, and he kind of, uh, he, get, he delivers kind of a gnomish curse under his breath. She knows of it. And I suppose you want it? At least to see it. I have some things that may assist. And Denier pulls out the few pieces of scribe paper that he has. Mm. All now, right. think of it. Think of yeah. it like this, Brickslight. There are a great number of things that can be done from this. Just think of... Think of this as a trade between friends and scholars. You'd be surprised what friends can do. Roll persuasion. All right. I'm trying to say it without saying it. That's why I'm having you roll persuasion. 21. He seems to pick up what you're laying down. He kind of nods. Okay, I trust you. He wanders over to his uh, bed. It's 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 this rundown little cot, and he kind of lifts up this hay-stuffed mattress and mm -hmm. pulls out what you know to be a uh, like it, it appears to be a student's journal. And he hands it to you. I'm not sure what exactly you're looking for in there, but you'd be surprised. Sometimes. She seems to think that this is going to be incredibly important in my task. 
Uh, you begin thumbing through it, I imagine? Oh, most definitely. All right. Uh, I'll say that uh, if you're letting Brickslight know exactly what you're looking for, you can roll an investigation mm -hmm. with advantage. Okay. You said investigation? Yeah, with advantage. Okay. And I already have the list of spells that you're looking for, so. Oh, uh, 13. That's where it didn't pop up for me. It will in just a second. All right. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, yeah, Brick's Light, uh, hearing what you're asking for, it's kind of like thinking back through the notes he might have taken. Uh, he guides you to a page where you find the uh, knowledge and preparation for the spell Dimension Door. Ooh. That's a good spell. Uh, I will take some of my scribe paper place it on the on there and just you know run my hand over it and then I'll pull the scribe paper away hmm. that's a fine enchantment uh, on the yeah you, you uh, basically have all of his student notes on that particular spell uh, mm -hmm. all its means and needs for preparation you just mm -hmm. need to study it in order to understand it in order to be able to cast it properly yeah basically uh, decipher his his uh his spellcraft into my spellcraft and then practice it to make sure i have it yeah basically okay good deal and that's um just making sure that's the only thing that i found uh with that roll and at your current level of uh yeah how, how long you've been up and doing things yeah that's that's probably what you're going to find in that for right now unless you wanted to take the journal from him hmm Brickslide, I'm going to give you an option I it's can been a while since I've had one of those yeah well I I don't wish I don't wish to do anything to you untoward I can take this, and this will just be it. Or, if you're willing, I can take the journal. With the journal, I would be able to study it more in depth. And I believe I would be able to help a bit. Roll persuasion. Okay. Eight. Not doing it. I can't. I, I can't part with this. This... Even if she knows about it, this this might be the only thing I have that might find me a way out of here of my own power. I want to trust you. He takes the journal, hold, uh, grabs Brickslight's hand, and puts it back into his hand, and covers it with the other hand. Then I will not force you. He nods and kind of uh, starts looking around, trying to see if he can find another hiding spot for it. Thank you. Of course. Hey, Northerners have got to stay together or stick together, right? He kind of gives like a small, uh, kind of a half smile for a second before going back to his uh, slightly panicked expression. Yeah, I suppose we do. Be safe. I'll do what I can to at least try to make your life a little bit easier. If I see the chieftainess, I'll speak highly of you. Hopefully, when she comes back, she'll realize just what a treasure she's got. If. If she comes back. He looks at you. Denier nods slowly. True enough. Yeah. And Denier pulls up his hood, and he turns, and he walks away. All right. You make your way out of the ziggurat and I assume back up towards the tower to study. Yep. Yep, most definitely. All right. Make your way out. The uh, green seer just kind of gives you like a knowing nod as you leave. He will do the same. And make your way back to the tower. Asmo, how long do you intend to stay at the... Uh, Saloon. 
Okay, so I have something for roleplay purposes. Asmo has done. Can I tell you about what he did while he was at the bar? Sure. While you're at the bar, there's... Asmo, Asmo, instead of a free drink, asked one of the guys to carry his carcass to the tower at the top of the hill. So at some point in the night, you guys will hear a knock on the door, and there will be an Asmo body placed at the floor. Roll persuasion with disadvantage, as not many here understand common. Okay, but hear me out. I will once you make your roll. Twelve. All right. Uh, All right. Yeah, uh, enough people seem to understand, like, it, they they don't seem to get it right away. You're essentially being put on top of a, uh, basically you're crowd surfing right now. People are just tossing you up in the air, and as you're directing them, they start carrying you out into the streets, chanting and dancing. Excellent, uh, excellent. A bunch, a bunch of the town starts, like, gathering and running alongside, uh... Having learned not your my name. Intention. I just want to go to bed. Not my intention. Just want to go to bed. Uh. Having, lear having learned your name. Asmo! 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 Oh, They're just kind of like no. bouncing you and like <laughs> throwing you around <laughs> as ah, they carry wounds. you around. You begin to be able to direct them out ah. towards the tower where this my large crowd of orcs basically ah. mosh pits you up to the tower. Uh, Denier, Wolfgang, you're awoken by the sound of this raucous horde of orcs. Asmo! 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 Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> thank oh, you, guys. son of a day. bitch. Thank, thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, it, was, it was As you open the door, they crowd really Asmo really and just Al drop him on his feet really on the inside of the door. It was really good and biting with all of you. Uh, oh, hey. Uh, Wolfgang, how's it going? Just start a parade? No, no, no. Actually, that wasn't great. Because the thinning of my blood was not good, as I found out that that just makes the blood go to your bruises faster. <laughs> you can just see bruises all over Asmo. Appearing on his, like, just, ah! I had them carry me up here because I couldn't ahead. walk. <laughs> ah! Ah, God! Ah! As is just trying to walk towards the end of the couch, hits it with his knees, ah, falls forward. And that will be it for Asmo. Asmo collapses into a deep slumber, which the rest of you shortly return to. <laughs> In the uh, morning, you're awoken by a, a knock at the door. At like 2 p.m. in the afternoon, right? No, first light. No, that's so early though. It's enough for a long rest though, so you're uh, you're feeling better. Those one piece bandages have done <clears throat> done a uh, done a lot of work. Denier will do. open the door. Yeah, Denier, you open up the door. There appears you're, to be a. Uh, you hear a hiss a, from Asma as he slides under a blanket more. <laughs> there's a pubescent orc boy standing with uh, a couple of parcels wrapped in leather. Uh, goes to delivery for Connolly. Wolfgang, it's for you. Mm. This, this here. Uh, He's got something for you, Wolfgang. I'll, He's I'll like looking around kind of confused. This here, yes. I'll walk up to the door That's and grab the package. Connolly. Hello? You. Yes. Delivery Connolly. I take the package. Uh, the packages feel about the right weight. Uh, there's a breastplate in one and a uh, slightly heavier duster in the other one. Mm. Uh, <gasps> Valentine say... Uh, uh, Thank you. Uh, he, hmm. he at, uh, says a word in Orcish, uh, uh, by water. Gotcha. Thank you. Yes. And he, uh, kind of walks away. Just. I'll, um, do you. Feeling do like they, he's done his I'll... job. Do they use metallic currency? I forget. Uh, from what you remember, it, it, they appeared to work on a barter system. 
Mm, gotcha. All right. I'll just open uh, the package then. Yep, you find uh, Asmo's breastplate repaired. Uh, it it carries a new symbol on it. Yeah, on one of the uh, where the metal was shattered on the chest, there is now the symbol of a broken hammer that appears to have been split by a lightning bolt. Oh. Hmm. And, uh... Asmo just... uh, 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 Has Asmo seen it yet? Assuming you've gotten up, Wolfgang would probably hand it to you. You see one eye sticking out from the mass of blankets. It's very bloodshot. It's darting around panickedly. (laughs) Asmo sees it. You see the mass of blankets slowly slide towards you. You see through the hole... A hand hand slowly slides out of the hole. Takes it from your hand without saying anything. Pulls it back into the blankets. And scuttles back along the couch. Looking just staring at you this whole time. (laughs) Good. No words were shared. You're welcome. That's nice. (laughs) As it says... It's nice. Thank you. You know, Wolfgang, we might have to document this new species of slug, the blanket slug. Oh, yes. New species? Oh, you're awake. Oh, your voice is louder. Mm. Is it? How do you feel, Tiwig? I don't have a nervous system, so I don't feel any different. Can you move? Like you did before? Oh yeah, I I stand up. Good. I didn't have any limbs severed, so I'm pretty okay. Just a little bit dented up, but you took care of that. Wait, how do you know that? You did it for 3 hours, 32 minutes, and 41 seconds. Oh, you were conscious during all that. And then, Wolfgang tried to give me a piggyback ride, but he messed it up. His actual form was incorrect completely. Mm-hmm. He says as he's unwrapping the second parcel, uh, which, as you unfurl it, uh, you'll notice that... Uh, you, the first thing you notice is that on the outside, there are certainly a few studs showing uh, in some of the more vital areas. Uh, as you look around the inner seams of the coats... Uh, you can see that several places where uh, damage would more likely be inflicted have been reinforced with either thicker leather or uh, various pieces of uh, like like chain mail and various other like weave like through the shoulders and under the arms. There's this thicker weave of this uh, chain like thin chain like material. And over where your uh, chest is, the leather has been further. Uh... Sorry, there there is another layer of thick leather added to the interior. So yeah, it is now counted as uh, studded leather armor. Is so this neat. for for this is for Wolfgang, correct? Yeah, this is Wolfgang's yes. coat. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. Uh, pull up my AC by one. Yeah, Asmo, your armor is unchanged outside of the new uh, yeah. sigil for the one who slayed a demigod. Oh, and Asmo's going to have uh, comments on that later, don't worry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's one of those things where he's thirsty, but the idea of drinking water would hurt. It's that Wolfgang? kind of hungover. Wolfgang? Yes, t Do you think the people of this town would have in the gate... A what? And a gate. A, a gate? You mean agate? Yes. Um, possibly. <sighs> I, we could certainly go looking for it if you want. I just realized that Dogrud might be kind of sad because Spike is, you know, gone and he's not going to see him again for a long time. So I figured maybe he could use a new friend. But I'm going to use an, a gate or an agate, as you call it, to make that happen. Is this like a spell component, or are you trying to 
make a friend out of the, the gate. Uh, no, I, I need to use it to make the spell work, yes. Gotcha. Um, we could head into town and, and see. Okay. Certainly. Actually, hang on. Do I have, uh... No, I don't. All right, don't? yeah, we could head uh. into town. Okay. You... Have a lot of stuff in here. Just not that. How are you all feeling? Sore, but I'll live. As it pulls the hood, the blanket back, just... I don't think, his pupils are very tiny. Many veins. I got a new breastplate. That's what holds up the new chest piece. This looks really cool. Asmo, were you intentionally consuming poison again? Yes, but just, just so my blood was thin enough so it could get everywhere to heal it. Mm. That's, that's not how it works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that blood heals all your wounds, and if you thin your blood, it can go faster because it's not as thick. What do you want from me? I never went to school. There's so many things wrong with that sentence, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even have uh, blood, and I know that's wrong. <laughs> Yo, if, does everyone want to marvel at my new chess piece? It, it, I, it's, it's the hammer is broken on it because he we broke the hammer. Get it? Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're Wolfgang Connolly. You're T Wig, the T Wig. You're Denier Highwind. Right, Highwind? Not anymore. Just in here. Cool. I was well just gestured. <laughs> All right. Um, it's wow. like as just sees it, he's just pulled a pit on a grenade. Ah, fuck! I don't want to look at that explosion. All right, let's move a look away. Dumb hmm. question. What is Timry's last name? I forgot. Atson. Yep. Atson. That's right. It's Atson. Jeez, yep, you remember that not. from the drop? You, you remember that from? I don't even take notes either. Yeah, I know that. That's a that you've been a DM before, haven't you? <laughs> yes, yeah, almost two of, years. A lot of proper nouns you got to keep uh, keep track of. Yeah. I turn. I turn to. I turn to Asmo. Atson. What? T wig Atson. Atson. Mm hmm. Oh, well, that's gonna take some getting used to. I don't have to use it. It's just you know I've been doing some reading, and apparently that's how you keep track of who made you like elliot connolly is his name and connolly was your name because you made him by having sex which i uh, also read about mm -hmm. is correct all of that is correct mm -hmm. it's true sex makes babies it does mm -hmm. dot dot <laughs> dot <laughs> Anyway, All right, let's go. Uh, anybody second. else want to head into town with us, or? Uh, I've decided to slowly uh, sip water until I'm awake. You guys, I'll catch up with you in a bit here. I'm currently just regretting last night. Well, Sips a little water. You deserve the celebration. I mean, not every day you can call yourself the God Slayer. Demi God. No, 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 no. He closes the door. We think about that. We think about that. As you exit into the field, you see Dogood standing outside, just kind of waiting. Oh. Hey, Dogood. You look ready to go. Uh, I lean up to Wolfgang and not subtly whisper, go, I want to make sure I get that thing for Dogood before we leave. Just about, uh, the others had a bit of a rough night last night, you know. Uh, we should be, we should be ready to go shortly, but, uh, we're going to stop in town briefly for one thing and then we'll head out. Uh, Dogood seems... Actively annoyed by this. Denier will walk out and he'll walk over and hang out near Dogood. He actually, as you get out and he heard uh, you say that, he actually starts walking away. F 
Fuck. Dinner, Osmo! We'll just hang out. <clears throat> Get Osmo. One pet leg on at a time. Asmo, you got a minute before I make the tower disappear with you in it. Ah, crap. It's probably running towards the end of its uh, time anyway. Yep. You just hear like a bunch of noises inside. Ah, God! Gosh! Yeah, sand is starting to rain down on you a little bit. Asmo jumps out the window. <laughs> as, it, as the glass from the window <laughs> clatters to the ground, it turns into sand as it uh, reaches the... Uh, sand, uh, the duny sand beneath it as okay. the tower begins to shake and collapse among, uh, into itself. I'm now, sorry, whenever much... someone jumps out of a window, I always think of purple eyes as window! It's just like RE4 yeah, I was randomly. Say, you, yeah. either get, you either get to <laughs> imagine, you either get to imagine, um, our wonderful boy Leon jumping through a window from Resident <laughs> Evil 4 for the animation, or, I'm gonna give you a bonus, guys, Ralph from The Simpsons being thrown through a window like a brick. I'll give the third one. The uh, scene in Scott Pilgrim where he jumps out to avoid knives. Oh, yeah, yeah, There we yeah, go. That's yeah. good. That's strong. Uh, you know that's... what? He just yeah. left. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. That movie was good. All right. We're... Which one did Asmo do, though, guys? It's up to you. It's up to the audience to decide. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the tower collapses back down into dust as Dogood is walking north towards the coastline. Oh, to head along to head around the uh yeah he's he's starting to get some distance on you as you're as you that is pull your pants on asmo that is towards the uh oh gosh what's the word for it um <laughs> the dam the that is towards the boat correct uh yes the boat is north uh northwest of you right now and the know. the boat is not in town no, no, it is docked. Uh, if you remember the field of battle, it was docked where they came from, which is northwest of town. Because there's the town is at the foot of the dam, so there was no way that uh, you're gonna dock a boat there. They had to find a shoreline. I'll, I'll, I'll lean down to Tewig. Tewig, we might have to wait on this. Sorry, those were the bees. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you see the, uh, you see a crowd of orcs kind of gathered around where the ship is. Uh, Dogood is probably too large to fit on that ship, but he does notice that uh, you guys are kind of wandering after him. Yeah. As he like looks over his shoulder, so he slows down a little bit. Uh, as we catch up to him, I'll be like, sorry about that. Someone was celebrating a bit too hard last night in the glare over at Asmo. Celebrating. I'll get it. I don't call it a celebration. I call it a treatment process. Asmo gets a second pat leg on, finally. I know. Oh, he didn't quite get to talk all that much after afterwards but I am so sorry he uh, stops in his tracks and kind of like looks straight for a second and then kind of turns back to you sorry he leans down towards you kind of like uh, Slav squatting just kind of like resting his elbows on his knees as he leans down over you uh, still a good Ten feet higher, higher than you as he leans his head over you, his head covering, uh, basically bathing you in shade. Everything was fine until you lot came around. You know that, right? I was fine living up there with Spike. Minding my own business. Getting cool shit. Then you lot came around and Spark just couldn't let it go. To I don't be know fair. if you put some sort of witchcraft on him or whatnot, but he just wouldn't. He didn't want to leave you. So I let him go for a bit, figured, you know, 
You lot would keep your promise and send him back, which you did. He came back and he wouldn't leave me alone until I followed him. He made me come out here. He made me follow you. I don't know what you did to him. What fascination he had. But wherever it was, Spock could still be here if you'd never come through. And I won't forget that. To be fair, so, though, you're the one who tried to rob us. He glares down at you. Just sort of sh shrinks into his shoulders when t says that. Fuck. <laughs> I had a way of life, and I was living it. So just you know this. No! This. He stands straighter up. What you did, I can't forgive. I don't like you. But right now, I need you. Once this is done, once that old geezer is in the fucking dirt, we're done. And you get out of this fucking land. Are we clear? Sure. He nods. And he keeps walking. I turn to Wolfgang. One often meets their destiny on the roads they take to avoid it. Yeah, but you were right. It was his fault for attacking us. Asmo whispers. <laughs> <laughs> you can't control the wild. It will go where it wishes. Spike was no different, really. Are you saying that to Asmo, or are you saying Just that in to... general? Ah. Uh -huh. uh, as you continue up the path, you see the uh, orcs kind of trying to prep the ship. They don't have a big crew with them. It seems to be uh, Valentine and about five other volunteers trying to work their way around this uh, ship. Harper kind of waves at you from the uh, bow as you wander close. Uh, there's a gangplank that sort of leads upwards toward the ship. Uh... Rather than our way. Yep. Well, you're welcome aboard. Uh, you might actually have a bit more know-how of how to work one of these things. Boat? Sure. You've never I'm... used a boat before? He, po he points out behind you. Son, what do you see out that way? Do you see water? No, the water's that way, the, with yeah. the boat. Do you see you're any telling me I know how to here? use a boat more than you? Is that what you're telling me right now? I know how to use a boat more than you? Yes, I'm saying exactly that. Oh my god. To be fair, to be fair, we probably know more just from being on a boat about how a boat works. Perfect! I'll take that as, I'll take that as your volunteering. Looking at this sure. boat, can Dogurd fit on it? No. Okay. Good. Somebody, I, prepare, uh, I prepared a spell for that just in case. I will start ritual casting Water Walk on Dogurd. He looks down at you uh, after that last exchange as you walk up to him. What are you doing? I just, like, sit down cross-legged and start talking in tongues, <laughs> just in front of him. Look, last time you did shit like this, I turned into a fucking cat, so you lot... Um, T-Wig. As a, a look out, what, what, what? What are you doing? You just interrupted my ritual to cast water walk on Dogood so he can walk on water. Look up at Dogood after that. <laughs> Just kind of shakes his head. 
crosses his arms and just like lets you go. Uh, the uh, as you cast it, the bulet crocs he has on his feet begin to glow from the sole upward. As the rest of you begin to uh, attempt to make this thing ready for its voyage. I need, uh, let's see. I don't suppose I remember anything that my father told me. You were how old when you disappeared? Ten. Eh, you might be old enough, so I'd say that you, uh, you having more knowledge, I mean also being probably the smartest among the group right now, would probably try hey. to take charge of this situation. I meant purely by I will, intelligence I will. stat. <laughs> I, I will happily hand over the controls of this vessel to Denier if he knows more about it. I so, Denier, go ahead and give me a history check. History? Uh, okay. With advantage due to your family's nautical... Uh... 22. All right. With that, right. You're, uh, you you kind of know that this mid-sized ship, uh, what you might call like a, a galleon, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. Either way. It's a, it's a ship that doesn't need a massive crew. I That's could be wrong a, in my ship skiff. classification. A, 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 a skiff is a like skiff. a single. Yeah, okay. It's, I'm, it's, I'm bigger than a, it's bigger than a skiff. Either way. Was it, uh, is it the first I, ship that Luffy had? Not the Going Mary, but the one before that. The small little it's one bigger the than single that. sail. Either way. Uh, you, okay. you direct people around. You let them know, like, okay, you're going to need to uh, pull that rope, get it to that level to where we need it to be. That over there, that's where the anchor comes up. And uh, you instinctively kind of take place at the helm because you're worried about anybody else trying to drive this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, even though you're not completely confident in your abilities either. Quick, do some donuts. If I need to, I will cast sending to my father and ask advice. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> Do hey, Dad, long lost son here. Uh, <laughs> well, you, 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 can't, you should contact your dad, but it should take him a long time to get to the point so he never can actually help you. It's always a, like starts sudden, off a long but... story. <laughs> but, oh, I need you to do this in 150 words or less. <laughs> How do you just... drive a boat? Okay, oh, so... It reminds me of the time when me and my friend Maurice, see, we were outside of the... You continue this spell in another message. <laughs> All right. Do we have uh, a crew, by the way? You have the uh, you have uh, Harper and the five orcs. Okay, we do have a crew. Thank God. Yeah, basically enough to get this thing going. Uh, so you manage to get this thing in a decent enough condition to go by the time Twig is done casting. And with that, Doga just kind of like looks at his feet. He takes a tentative step out into the water uh, gives you a quick glance of if this doesn't work like you're <laughs> you are crushed <laughs> and he steps just... out and he stands as if it's just solid solid ground gives gives a nod and starts walking across the water just how long does water walking last an hour and i'm gonna repeat the ritual every hour as we're traveling how long uh how close do you have to be to him uh, for water walk, it's yeah. very, uh, within, uh, up to 10 willing creatures you can see within range, which is 30 feet, so. Okay, so yeah, yeah. You, you, you can probably sail within that distance from him. Yeah. All right, so, uh, you, Dogood begins walking across as you take the ship out and you start to sail across this, uh, massive sea of water. Every hour, uh, T Wig sits out on the uh, sits out on the deck and begins casting again, making sure that uh, Dogat is within range. And you guys begin making your way towards the glittering city of Oasis in the distance. And here, I feel is a good a place as any to take a quick break. Hey guys, Lanny here. If you're liking what you're watching, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really helps me feel the love for this series. And if you want to catch us live, feel free to hit us up on twitch.tv slash LannyPator Mondays at 5 o'clock Central Time. Thanks for rolling with me. Now let's get back to the action. 
So you begin, uh, you've been sailing for a few hours now, and the city of Oasis has been growing closer and closer, uh, now to the point that you are just about to be sailing into it. Uh, as you sail into the city of Oasis, the first thing that catches, or as you sail towards the city of Oasis, the first thing that catches your eye as you approach is this massive Colossus of Rhodes style statue of Vander standing in front of what appears to be a dock. Uh, he's covered in furs of several different types of beasts, his legs parted for ships to pass under. His gate is the only entrance to this port that is otherwise walled off by this white stone of this city. The statue flexes its massive arms, holding aloft two heavy wrought iron chains that seem to lead from the gleaming city into the depths of the Lunar Well uh, Lake. The harbor itself seems to be lined with uh, these windrunner type galleons that you're sailing on. And the city itself, uh, while very well constructed, does not seem to be incredibly ornate. The decor kind of seems like a uh, ancient Rome by way of Egypt. Okay. Everything seems Population. to be made. Everything okay. seems to be made of this uh, kind of glittering white sandstone that uh, tower that seems to build upward as the city goes further in, like almost as if it's stacking on top of itself. These winding uh, dirt roads that are. Uh, basically the thoroughfare through this city. Uh, you see the populace kind of wandering about. This place seems very lively and bustling. Uh, all, all of the populace, or at least the main populace, appears to be that of those Goliath, uh, many of which you slew on the battlefields not too long ago. The ship uh, begins to pull into the harbor as you now need to figure out how to stop it. The uh, Eyes of the dock workers stopping to turn to look as this ship bearing the colors of Theranak begin sailing back in and they, uh, the eyes of the people grow more and more questioning as the crew looks not only a lot smaller, but of uh, a very different build. How is their you uh, are, face seeing dog and walk right beside I'm not done. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and uh, their eyes are also immediately drawn to Dogood, who just kind of glares at this statue as he walks under it. Everybody is, like, the dock almost seems to stop entirely as you guys are pulling in, and they begin to realize, uh, it, the dots begin to connect amongst them. Denier, I need you to roll a history check to see if you can get this ship to stop in time. Okay. Uh, by history, that is a twenty-seven. Nice, man. Like God. on on the You're dock, on you are you are giving commands. You are shouting. Okay, lower the like. Look, I need sail. I need no more sails. Get ready on the anchor. And you manage to pull it up. You get somebody to hurl the rope uh, around the dock as you pull yourself to a nice stop. The crowd that has been gathering around this uh the the crowd that has been working this dock all seem to be gathering around this ship now as you are uh preparing to lower the gangplank to get off everybody seems very very curious about what is uh what's happening here hood is up cloak of incognito is on the the face is just covered by this uh, thick smoke, this wispy smoke at the helm. I'm going to use my crystal to turn into the Dragonborn. It does nothing to assuage the fact that you guys are definitely not Theranak and his crew. Uh, some, uh, All of these guys who are wandering around, these Goliaths, they, they all look like they have the, the highest of blood pressure. Like, they, they are incredibly tense as they wander up uh, a slightly larger one with uh, this sort of tunic on that seems to have a, a pin of sorts on it. You're guessing this might be the harbor master or something as he's wandering up. What business? What business you got here? How'd you, how'd you come by this ship? The tournament, Asmo says. 
Well, yeah, but the t as was just looking at his blade right now, trying to be as as, we as like that blade guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, not even making eye contact. He's having a sideways conversation. Rest. God. My question. The ship, how'd you get it? Uh, we found it floating up against the shores of the other side of the lake. Not a soul aboard. Rest them. He kind of motions towards... Uh... He kind of motions towards the rest of the guards as they begin boarding the ship. Now, now, hold on, hold on. By your law, if the owner of this ship is dead, then it belongs to those who slew it, right? But the owner can't be dead. Aswo turns after... Stands up, turns with the actual hammer-breaking thing. Unfortunately, the owner of this ship made a very big mistake. And unfortunately, we'll be unable to return. You're lying. Denier snaps his fingers, and an image of Theranak being slain by Asmo appears on the main deck of the ship. Uh, there are no. some... Uh, go ahead and roll a performance check. Okie doke. Because I got something fun to follow up. Uh, ten. And what do you want to follow that up with, Asma? <laughs> How many people are looking at Asma right now on the uh, docks? A, a, a good chunk of them. The, the harbor master has like briefly looked up and realized this is just trickery. Uh, some of them from behind. Some of them behind him are just like looking up, kind of aghast and stepping backwards a little bit. Especially some that were about to make their way up the gangplank in order to attempt to arrest you. But Asmo. the harbor master is staring straight at you. Asmo, what's what's the highest point on the ship? Uh, probably, say it's uh, probably the... where the helm is. Well, Asmo walks up to the helm, and he just go, and he just coughs to clear his voice a little bit. Come one, come on, ladies and gentlemen, and I give you the one of the greatest creations that ever stepped foot into this part of the world, and that is <laughs> the tale of Asmo, Godbreaker. And as it was a snap with his fans. If you disbelieve what I've done to the honor of this boat, then you will be proved wrong in the tournament to follow. For I came here for the full meal for killing. The boy was but an appetizer. Uh, as, you're, as, you're, as, you're fish lips. This, as you're saying this, a shadow begins looming over as Dogood walks oh, no. up behind the boat and stands, uh, his body towering above this ship as the uh, sun is now cascading from behind him, causing a shadow to drape over not only you and uh, many of those on the, do uh, on the deck of the ship, but all those surrounding the gangplank as he's staring down at the harbor master. <laughs> oh, and this is our friend. Asmo gestures at him. Asmo! Ah! Uh, Smack, clank. <laughs> go, ahead sorry, and make, go, go ahead and Kiwi make does have anime powers on Asmo, by the way. So technically yes. she can do a lot of damage. He. Uh, yeah. Persuasion with advantage, Asmo. Hmm. 14. Bums me out. The... But it's okay. Nine. Not nine. The harbor master glances at you, glances at Dogood, who's just kind of glowering downward. This will need to be investigated, but. Okay, he just kind of turns his back and just starts storming away, shoving a, one of his uh, compatriots off the gangplank into the water below. <laughs> can I can I insert that guy and just see if he's got some un like some some untreated tension that he needs to talk out? Uh, go ahead, roll an insight. Check. Does he need to smoke weed? That's like low key. No, no, no. <laughs> Try this and out, man. It's vaping. Just hit it whenever you feel like. I'd say from that, like, just by looking around and looking at all these people, they all seem very high strung. Uh, you're not sure if that's because this ship went out with a bunch of soldiers and now it's back with uh, 
well, the people that those soldiers were going to conquer. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're noticing that there is some tension among the crowd. You, you can't quite read any individual. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's tension here. Harper just kind of walks out in front of you. I ain't traveled here much, but uh, word of the wise, there's only one rule in this city. And that's that the weak obey the strong. Well, sounds about go. right. I gotta go uh, reunite with my chiefess. I'm sure you lot can make your way from here. Kind of uh, right. tips his. It kind of tips his hat to you. Should we meet at the tournament? Best of luck. To you as well. Safe travels. Kind of uh, raises his hand and kind of like a wave as he's walking away from you. A uh, gust of wind blowing his duster backwards a little bit. Well, that guy's too cool. What? <laughs> you know, Wolf King, I could do that for you. Do what? I cast Druidcraft and and make Wolfgang's hair like like a hair dryer just hit it like. Poof. <laughs> yeah, you uh you. Make a dexterity check real quick, Wolfgang. It's not a, it's not a <laughs> high one, but... 22. Uh, as Twig as Twig says that and turns towards you, just kind of like holding out there, holding out Twig's hand, and a gust of wind blows your hat off your head. You reach up quickly to catch it, and you put it back on. See, like that. <laughs> I, I, I look stony gaze forward at, at nothing and, and look amazing. <laughs> 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 I like kind of flex my fingers and make it so like is you wear are you wearing your long long jacket anymore or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I make yeah, it like it bellow on. triumphantly and badassly, like just like yeah, it flaps a little bit in the breeze. I walk just a little bit more slowly, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I can there, feel there like a, a badass. <laughs> there are a lot of eyes on you as you make your way down to the dock and upwards towards the uh, city of Oasis itself, Dogood trying to find a place to make land as he's just kind of wandering through. There's a lot of people just gawking at him. You guys managed to uh, make it towards the uh, inside of the pier. And it's now that you can kind of see the uh, main thoroughfare of the town as it runs as this... Uh, wider road seems to run straight from the southern entrance to the northern entrance. Uh, there's there's a wide, sweeping bazaar, uh, and everybody, everybody in this town looks like they're about to fucking pass out due to their blood pressure. They're, they all just are walking around, fists clenched, just glaring at everybody as they walk by. As you walk through this bazaar, you see a man walking up to a uh, to what appears to be a stand that sells root vegetables. He slaps down his hand. Pound of potatoes! That'll be seven silver. Last week it was five! There are less potatoes this week! They glare at each other with this um, intense tension in their faces. Fine! Poof. How's your mate? She's well! I feel like I, I, puts their hands on their hips and goes, this place is pretty cool. <laughs> this place is intense. It's loud. Could I could I do an insight check to see if if this is if people seem like they're just this is a day to day thing or if this is unusual behavior? Sure, go ahead and make an insight check. That sharp inhale okay. from you, Nick. I don't know. I mean, fifteen. <laughs> As you get a quick glance around this town, you're you're just marking every single per every single thing that's going on. You see uh, people like standing at each other. You see uh, a what appears to be like a teenage kid kind of bump shoulders with a slightly larger kid. That slightly larger kid turns to him and starts like tackling him and pummeling him on the ground while everybody else just kind of stands around and looks. As the other one stands up, the other one crumpled and defeated on the ground. Everybody else just kind of like nods as they continue on their way. Another fist fight breaks out <laughs> nearby. 
it doesn't seem to take very long for another fight to break out in this town. As Harper told you, it appears this land, the only law is, if you are strong, you are right. So okay. the strongest I'm going to person... This is how it always is, then. <laughs> yeah, all these Goliaths just kicking the shit out of each other and walking around as if anybody is going to pick a fight with them. I run up to Wolfgang. Wolfgang, look, I found the tooth on the ground. <laughs> what that... <laughs> I mean, do you, do you need it? No, I just thought it was pretty cool. You can keep it if you want, just... Okay. <laughs> it's not It's not very hard to find teeth on this gravel road, as you realize uh, a good chunk of the gravel here happens to be old discarded teeth. I found another one! <laughs> looks like the pavement is teeth. Looks like a... Wanna go makes you, makes you wonder how the dent what the dentist does around here, huh? You hear a cr really the crackling of a building behind you as Dogood like steps into like finally steps out of the harbor, <laughs> and this this small harbor shack just kind of crumbles in on itself as its uh, owner walks out. Where the hell did that? Looks up at Dogood. My bad. Walks away. <laughs> <laughs> I want to imagine like the door pretty much gets accordion. And he just closes the accordion door to get back into his place. <laughs> just looks up at him. You know what? I think it was time for me to retire anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna. Run you know what? To Who wants to live by the sea? What a bad thing to look at all the day. I I'm gonna run over to Dogan and go, Hey, uh, do you want to be a bit smaller while you walk around, or? He's. Uh, you can see his eye line is glaring straight up at. Uh, what appears to be the top uh, ring of Oasis. This uh, this entire city is built kind of in layers, uh, built one block up at a time, almost like a, uh, a significantly larger ziggurat or uh, temple. You're not sure if there's like an interior to this town, but it's definitely built on blocks. And up at the very top, you see this very, uh, the, certainly the most ornate building this place has to offer. And there's a uh, kind of a gilded balcony sitting up at the top, kind of rimmed with these fig-like leaves and various sorts of foliage. That's where he is. We gotta figure out where we look, where we have to sign in for that tournament of his. If I remember correctly, <laughs> sort of fuzzy, but I think he said that. The tournament was full. I don't know what he meant by that. He'll make an exception. Or he uh, expects us to make a vacancy in the tournament. Uh, I'll trust your judgment. He ain't gonna turn it down. He wouldn't. It's the fight he's looking for. It's the fight I'm gonna give him. He, uh, he turns back to that guy that was started, like, that walked away after he crumbled his house, kind of grabs him. Oh, oh, fuck, oh, fuck! Where's the tournament signing? Um, uh, it's, uh, it's over in the main corridor, out, 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 out that way. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you? No. All right, then. Sets him down, and he just kind of, he walks away faster this time. Be <laughs> tiny, that's what you could do. Oh, that way. And that way we go. Begins walking. This city is beautiful. But I wanted to ask, how big is this city? It is uh, quite sizable. You'd, you'd say it's certainly smaller than Dragon's Rest. Hmm. But uh, for the amount of population that it, uh, you would assume a city in the middle of the desert to have, it is... Uh, it was big enough that you could see it from the other side of this uh, very large lake or sea-like lake, and uh, I'd say probably probably rests on a good uh, fifteen to twenty square kilometers. Oh, wow. Okay. And you said it was like it's on up a uh, it's up an incline. Yeah, the, the road as you travel further in seems to wind uh, almost in that San Francisco-esque style up towards this 
gilded palace near the top. Okay, so it's a winding uh, road. Yeah, at an okay. incline. At winding at an incline. Okay, thank you. Yeah, there there are stairways in alleys that run kind of in between these winding streets, but uh, the current district that you appear to be in is kind of like the, the lower area slash the bazaar, which is right on the inside of the harbor. Off to the north appears to be some forms of residencies uh, and uh, maybe a few shops or so. Further in, they're def uh, further westward and upward, there appear to be more residencies that get nicer and nicer as you go further up. Down south, it appears to be uh, very similar with some shops and smaller residencies along the way down there. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. So Dogood begins uh, wandering toward where the supposed sign-in point is supposed to be. Before we... Hold on. Blah, blah, uh, we should probably secure a place we can stay that is relatively safe. I think we can all agree on that. There'll probably be one near the tournament sign-up where most of the fighters are staying if they don't have in arena... Or I was... I was going to say as well, if need be, we need to f how much space do we need to set up your tower? Not very much. I can make it as small as I need to. We might have to go for uh, height rather than width if we want to cram it in one of these alleys. You mm -hmm. said any size, so I'm just taking advantage of that. Actually, I'm, we're, I'm assuming we're talking while we're following Dogood. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just letting this conversation take place while you uh, make your way yeah. over to it. As you are traveling uh, northward on this street, the further you travel away from the bazaar, I mean, you're still traveling through the bazaar, but the further you travel away from its center, you start to notice that there are other races kind of cavorting about, uh, some, which just, you, some of which you ahead. recognize. Like, uh, <clears throat> you see a... Uh, you see a fire newt actually kind of wandering around, just like looking at various wares, trying not to get stepped on, slinking away if anything looks too close at it. As you travel further, you've seen a uh, couple orcs. These, uh, this particular orc appears to be a male with blue face paints uh, and various blue tattoos de uh, decorated around their skin. Their skin seems to be a uh, more of a shade of yellow than Harper and his clan. Oh, yellow orc. Interesting. Huh. And you see uh, even a few centaur wandering around, just keeping their eyes about, gauging the crowd. Hmm. Yeah, while we're walking, I'm I'm uh, keeping everything enclosed, completely wrapped up in the cloak, face hidden. And whenever I'm speaking, I'm using the voice modulation for it. Uh, one centaur that catches your eye, just from their sheer massive size, is uh, this centaur that appears to be uh, another half rhino centaur. <laughs> he has this very stern look across his face. Uh, almost as if he seems about as angry as the Goliath that walk around. And, and the Goliath that see him give him a very wide berth. Uh, as you look at him, uh, Denier, this, this character in particular, there's something on its back. It appears to be humanoid in shape as you wander around the side of it. Mm -hmm. Like a rider? Yeah, uh, they seem to be like riding side saddle, very casually sitting, and they look down towards you. They're, it looks almost to be like a red-skinned elf, as it looks down at you. Kind of, uh, kind of stares for a moment, and just like kind of twiddles its fingers and waves and smiles at you. Then you will nod, back, uh, in greeting. Hmm. Uh, have I heard of any kind of 
like different skinned elves, specifically uh, with my studies with Arcanos. Go ahead and give me a history check. Uh, 13. You can't say that you have. Every elf that you've met has either been a drow, which you know to be the elves that were cursed by Solomon mm -hmm. to follow him, or the ones that chose to follow him and were given his blessing, as they would say it. Or the pure-blooded elves that uh, followed Arkanos, like the Wizzlesteins. I'll take a good look at the elf for a few moments, and then I'll just keep on going for a few moments, and I'll keep on going with the others. Putting that in the back of my mind. Elf gives you a playful smirk as you walk away. Uh, just making sure for my own reference, um, did I get uh, Eska back or no after that fight? Yeah, yeah. Eska either returned to the plane that it uh, chills at or returned to resting around your neck. Eska was not killed in that conflict. Okay, I had to double check. I will, I'll use my mental connection. Friend of yours, I'll ask Eska. You get the... Uh, Eska doesn't seem to understand what you're asking. He's... He's asking if... Basically, he's kind of asking if Eska kind of knows what the elf is. Like, if it's something that he's seen before. Eska still seems very confused by your statement. Okay, I'll, I'll leave it. And I just keep on following the others. You eventually find your way uh, further northward. You see this uh, building with a banner on top of it. Uh, the banner is written in giant, Denier. You can read it pretty clearly. It's uh, mm -hmm. War Games Admission. That's the place right there. I ain't gonna fit in there. Doga just kind of gestures towards you guys to walk into this dark alley. Depending on how far it is in, I can I can help get you in there. You need me for everything? No, just offering. He just gestures that you can wander in. Fair enough. Alright. I will go in if... Is there anybody else joining me? As yeah, I'll follow. Wondering. As you guys Fight walk you, into this, uh, as you guys walk into this alley, it's uh, very sh shaded from the sun. Your eyes actually take a moment to adjust as you wander around the side. You you look around for a moment and you see at this desk, just sitting in this alley, uh, kind of an elder Goliath who looks just as angry as all of the others out there. Question. Yeah? Is there a bell on the desk? Make an investigation check. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 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 da, 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 investigation. Ten. Oh, man. There does not appear to be a bell on the desk. He just kind of looks. He looks at the lot of you. What you here for? We're here to sign up for the war games. Uh, what, the, tribe uh, what tribe you representing? Sanctuary didn't say they had fighters here, did they? Or solitude, solitude rather. No, they they yeah. they had champions that were heading this way. Hmm. What should we say? Wait, what? what oh, sorry, above game. What's the first town? What's that very tiny town we first started the campaign? Amberglade. Again? Amberglade. Uh, I'm sorry, this isn't meta gaming me for me to ask that question. Is it? Would no. Okay. No. If you guys are cool with that name, mm, I'm cool with that tribe. Name. What tribe is you? Amberglade. What's Amberglade. An, what's an Amberglade? Far, far, far from this city. Mostly human and dragonborn dwell within that city. 
representing the world of men. I ain't had none like you in a bee. I just kind of wave since I'm a dragonborn right now, like, hello. Mm. <laughs> that is a dragonborn. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Points at him. Yes. Start, he starts slowly writing these runes on a uh, sheet. On the glide. You're aware that you're likely to die in this, right? We've been informed. Is he from this land? No, but someone I knew was. You gotta represent a citizen of this land. Turn back to. <laughs> Turn back to uh, Denier. I mean, technically, Dogood. Mm -hmm. What's the Dogood? Oh, should I? Should I use his real name? Yes. Is it 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 was. Can his... we ask? Can we ask if he's okay with it first? You know, respectfully. He's going to want to fight in it anyway. Yeah. And we, he, he's, I he said... You can fight under whatever name you I want. Tell you, I yeah, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, just put my name down there. Oh, Asmo, A-S-M-O, a god killer, G-O-D, hyphen, capital K. <laughs> You'll forgive him. He's very excited. Um, oh, yeah. I'm sure. What name? I thought. Oh, I thought you were gonna cut to Nadine talking to Dogan. Okay. Uh, oh, Connor. Okay. You, you stay, I, you, I gave. You're, I gave. You're I gave right. Asmo's name. I'm just waiting for anyone else to give their name. You can't. No, uh, they're they're outs at, outside. In uh, outside there, Twig, <laughs> you catch up with uh, Dogan. Hey, Dogan. What you done in there already? Nope. We need your name, but we want to know if you want to use your name or your other name, because you have two. Why do they need it? Huh? Why do they need it? For registration, I guess. <clears throat> he starts, pe he starts like peeling his arm in there and starts like trying to stretch his body into this place. You guys can me, feel these buildings just, around you creaking let, and crumbling. I'm, I'm going to cast Polymorph on him and turn him into, if I'm he's allowed. He's going to attempt oh, to resist Lordy. it. In fact, okay. he's going to choose to resist it. I was just going to turn him into like a smaller version of himself, if that's permittable. It wasn't to him. He's he's rather okay, perturbed then, right then now. I, I, I won't then. If it doesn't seem like he's like, okay, this is an option, then I, I won't, I guess. Yeah, you can feel these buildings kind of rumbling and the uh, Goliath that's sitting behind the desk is like, kind of, kind of like covering his head so like the debris doesn't come <laughs> down and crush him as Dogut's head peeks around the corner. Put us in the like a fucking tournament. I don't care what name you fucking use. Righto. You got it. All right. Yeah. Gamble point upwards. Uh, point upwards at, at Dogood. Uh, he, he's the citizen that will be representing us. He, he, uh, he just kind of like uh, tentatively nods. Oh, that's Wolfgang Connolly. He is my name as well. Uh-huh. Denier. Right. And the metal one. I'm not metal. Or the, <laughs> the, the metallic dragon one is is Twig. Twig Atson. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all square. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't kill me. Ah! Don't say that. We haven't even gotten to know you yet. That's what just smiles. You're doing your job. You're doing what you're supposed to. You haven't given us a reason to. Just one more question. Uh, do you represent the North Bank or the South Bank? <laughs> I 
North Bank. I represent hmm. West Side. No, I'm All right. Not. I'll make sure to get this delivered where it needs to go. We, uh, we're expecting no more, but I'll make sure he gets delivered. What's the prize for winning? He, it, was a, get, it was a wish, right? Yeah, went one, one gift granted by the, one granted by the Lord himself. The Lord of Storms, the Lord of Thunder, the Lord of War. I think that will be all. All right. Can you tell Is your there... friend to leave now? He's just looking up at Dogood, who's staring down. I'll, I'll look up at Dogood and give him a thumbs up. <laughs> he We're begins square to here. He begins to work his way back as the buildings start to, like, crumble and crack again. Windows shatter. Uh, some people, like, look out the windows and then think better of saying anything. Ugh. So, Is there, uh, some place that we need to all gather, or will we be called on? The Lord will make his presence known when it's necessary. Great. Yeah, he knows us. If that's that should everything. Be too much of a problem. Right. Yep, that that should do it. He says, just kind of like staring around. Uh, you can tell his day has changed dramatically. Denier will simply turn on his heel and walk out. Yep. Yeah. Same here. You begin wandering back into the street, uh, into the city streets. Dogood uh, waiting out at the corner. So he's done then. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yes, sir, you... Bob. I don't much like it in here. I'll go wait outside until his shit's ready to go. Very well. Mm. With a lot of teams here in town, it wouldn't be shocking if one of them tried to jump another team before the tournament even started, so make sure we all stick together. This is a... You say plan. as Dogood is walking away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all split. know. We all know where he is. Yeah, I mean, he draws the eye. Like everyone. Do you honestly think that think somebody's going to mess with him? Right. No, I meant us. We'll be fine. I'm going to send one of the bees words. after Doga. Just send one of the bees on patrol. Yeah, B flies out, lands on Dogen what the un is. unnoticed. <laughs> Next thing of business, I would suggest that we maybe take a look into a florist. A what? A florist. The lily of the lunar well? Oh, I thought you wanted Most to like lay out Kiwi. flooring or something. I was like, what? No. It's just your Southern Isles accent. It throws me off sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> you all look for a florist at the same time we should go look for a place to sell some potions because I mean I mean regardless never can have enough potions besides I got lots and lots of stuff in my special little bag that I would like to offload look at this look at all this weird junk I got from that damn temple mm -mm -mm. also asthma before you sell the books I would like to take a look at those Oh, yeah, the books. Shit, yeah, you the books, books you tried to sell in the last town. Didn't I try? Didn't I give you those books? No, you said you were going to sell them, but you never did. That's true. I don't even know where they are on my item sheet. <laughs> oh, there they are. No. Yes, there it is. <laughs> All right, what? Okay, Aswell pulls out the five assorted books. Do you have anything else written about what they were? It just five assorted books from that temple. I didn't. It, it was told that they were five assorted books. So, but I also know it's a book, so we can't destroy them in front of Denier. True enough. Worst mm -hmm. case, Lanny, I can go back uh, between sessions and find out exactly what they were. That'll be fair. 
There you go. If I didn't uh, give them five multicolored disc- books with scribing and wording on it, I don't quite know. I know I know one of them was uh, had I'm pretty sure like, one was written in giant. Yeah. I believe I do remember that part. By the way, Denier, you now have those five assorted books that we can figure out what they were. Wonderful. Once, once I either go through my notes or you go back and check on them. Yeah, I'll check on them for you. I know you're Plus busy. Plus a time ago it was. It was a bit of time ago. Yep, that was the Temple of Maltesh. Mm-hmm. All right. So, what, uh, so some of you want to find a florist. Others want to find a uh, potion shop. Tell you what. How about... Did you? I want to I find it a gate still, an agate. Sorry. Oh, we're all going shopping, and we could Let's just hit up multiple shops. Do we have, to, do we have, do we have time for both? Nick? We. Ooh. I, I don't see why not. Go ahead and uh, give me an investigation check as you're trying to find places in this strange land. I will assist by being able to read giant. Investigation. Yes. 17. Nine. Da, da, da. Ah, natural zero. Investigation nice. 22. Yeah. Uh, Denier, what, what were you looking for specifically? I was looking for a florist or some kind of a herbalist shop, mainly things to potentially get a lead for the Lily of the Well. Right. Yeah, you, you can find uh, you. You're able to find a uh, booth that seems to sell various herbs and plants pretty easily. Wolfgang, were you looking for anything specific? Uh, I was also uh, looking for the looking for anywhere that might lead towards the Lily of the Lunar Well. And yeah, you're pretty easily able to find this uh, either botanist or herbalist's uh, shop. Seems to be run by a unsurprisingly very angry woman. This uh, tall Goliath lady, bespoke with muscles, head clean shaven, scowling at you as you walk up. Good afternoon. Denier speaks with his modified uh, voice. In uh, Giant, she says four in there. Denier grins and speaks right giant right back at her. Glad you noticed. Mm, Foreigner knows our tongue. I seek an item, a flower. A specific flower. A lily. For dainty foreigner. Well, <laughs> are we there with him? Sorry, I just want to specify. Yeah, I mean, we yeah, did. We did say were, you, we, we didn't want to travel together. And they, okay. I, I, I had no idea what's being said. Just good. Can I, can I knowledge nature of the flowers that are available here just to see if there's any of particular interest? Go ahead. You you know what you're looking for, so yeah. Twenty three. Nice. The lily itself does not seem to be among the wares, but there are uh, several herbs that are pretty good for their healing potency amongst uh, the amongst the set. Is there anything there that's like kind of like in the stage of growing or ungrown? Yeah, they they have a few pods, a few uh, saplings of sorts that would probably grow into almost bonsai-like trees. Uh, is there anything in particular you're looking for? Because I could just list off random I just, shit. I just but... want to touch whatever hasn't quite grown yet and just druidcraft the shit out of everything. Because <laughs> it's the first time I've seen plants in a very long time and I'm a little bit I'm a little bit starving right now. So I'm just going to start touching things and having them grow. Okay, so you tap one of the uh, little podlings in a little starter vase and it starts sprouting and growing all over the place and the goliath woman instantly glares down at you uh you wouldn't understand what she's saying in giants but denier she essentially just says stop that and starts reaching out towards it uh tiwig she doesn't like that you're making the plant grow she's asking to stop and denier will translate isn't that like the point though foreign witch 
Did she just call me? What did she just call me? What? It, this is still in giant, correct? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, which, which, she. Which, which, which is like. <laughs> Never mind. Continue on. She is not happy. Just. Denier reaches out, slowly puts Tewig's hand away. Uh, Asmo pokes his head and makes sure they don't gouge you on everything because they hate us here, apparently. Asmo says, looking at lots of people, just giving him looks outside, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody's been staring at you. Some of them catch the, uh, the sigil on your armor and glower harder. They don't Asmo like just... you, but they don't like you because they think you're a fool, which we are. Asmo just kind of, just kind of, I'm guessing, just kind of leans in. They might want to find ar more armor. I think they want to stab me everywhere. Yeah. I'm lady. sure you'll be fine. The old lady just shaking her fist or something. Oh, I don't know. She's been standing with her arms like, uh, like after slapping T Wig's hand away from the plant. Uh, she just kind of like sets her arms back at her, at her sides, fist kind of clenched, sort of like trembling a little bit as. Their stare goes back towards the shadowy face, Denier. That one has a knack with plants, able to make them grow at their will. Useful at times, especially when you need a certain plant. While not so... lacking in strength, their strength is something other than physical. Wasting my time, you look for flower. What flower? The lily of the lunar well. Ha! She, you know he this sh flower? He shakes her head. She points up. Hmm. The upper districts, then. Top. How much would a tree be from this woman? I turn to Demir. Demir, how much is a tree from this lady? The dragonling wants to know how much you will charge for a tree. What tree? Which tree? Which Does one do you like, like? Like a sapling, like a like not like a full tree, but like a generally pretty like what you'd get at Home Depot. You know what I yeah, mean? Well, what what kind of tree are you looking for specifically, though? Anything that has either really strong bark or thorns on it. She gets that description ponders for a moment kind of like points toward uh, what appears to be this almost like uh, it, it's like it has this it's a it's a baby tree as it's growing a little sapling and its bark seems to grow in these almost shark tooth like layers and it has this Ooh. sort of frilly fronds at the top how much for that relaying You've angered me. Five hundred. And relay it back to Tiwig. What? That's a ripoff. A tree should be free anyway. Not quite word for word, but do relay uh, Tiwig's uh, feeling that it should be less. Uh, kind of look. It kind of looks down at you, smirking. Should be, isn't is. Relay it. I lean. I lean down to T Wig while he while Denier is talking to the shopkeeper. Can't you do that thing? You know where you like locate plants. I didn't prepare it today. Seen... Well, if I rest, I can. Wolfgang, this woman is whipping oh. me off, though. She, like, wants for a tree, 500 gold pieces. Get out of here. What, what do you want to... It doesn't what even do you want bear to, fruit. What do you want a tree for? I want a best friend in a place where I don't have a lot anymore. Spike's gone, I'm sad. We're all... We're She's all getting good. grumpy. You're wasting her time. <clears throat> Tell her I'll pay her 20 gold pieces for the tree. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to see a Goliath laugh? 
I, he turns and <laughs> he he gives a he gives a shrug and he relays the message. He looks straight towards you, T Wig. She holds out her hand and grabs the pot with the tree in it and crushes it. I will polymorph into a Tyrannosaurus Rex and roar in her face. Oh my god. Because <laughs> fuck wow. it, violence is the only wow. thing these people wow. understand. Wow. A wild T-Wig, flex, but okay. T-Wig turns into a mighty dinosaur as that tree is crushed. This is, this is ruining my Go emotion. ahead and roll intimidation with advantage. All right. I, okay. Oh, are you actually... Wait, wait, wait. She hold did on. it. Actually... She, she claimed it and she did it. Rolling. I did. I'm doing it. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I, do I use... I have to use the T-Rex's stats because I'm not wild shaping, so... No, okay. Do it live. And I will just... And I will say in giant, yeah, the dragonling is very grumpy right now. As the as T Wig is just roaring, you're probably drowned out over the you're roar. You're gonna make no. You, 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 so, I'm sorry. You need to walk that uh, back, Bob. Just, you wouldn't just, like T Wig. You're making T Wig angry. You wouldn't uh, like T Wig. Oh, uh, uh, so much. That's so much better. So exactly, you gotta do that. Due to the flawed rules of the charisma system, I technically do this with a negative one modifier. Wait. Well, that's your uh, true point, Mark. Unless, unless it's like strength Don't. based, this is charisma based. So. This is, I mean, intimidation is charisma, unfortunately. Yeah, so. unfortunately. So it's negative one. So, eh, first roll is a twelve, which makes it eleven. Second roll is a four, which makes it a three. So eleven. So, yeah, at at an eleven, uh, you're still a massive dinosaur. So I'm going to roll for them real quick. They uh, look up at you. As you roar in their face, towering over them, a bunch of people uh, stopping. Like, the the noise around you has stopped. And she slowly, like, kind of hunkers down, scoops up the pieces, and just kind of, like, holds them up, bowing her head down. I like the pupils just kind of follow every motion as she does that, like, just sli- silently watching. She's shuddering as she's, like, holding this broken vase over her head. And uh, under her breath, Denier, you can hear in giants, Forgive, forgive, did not offend, did not offend, forgive. I turn to Wolfgang and kind of do, like, like a little bit of, like, a kind of like snort, like, also a gesture at the head towards the pot, because I have tiny arms. So you're saying you have a Wolf, big head Wolfgang and tiny arms. Has a, has a steely poker... Wolfgang has a steely poker face, but a bead of sweat just slowly drips down his face. This is... is anybody going to grab this pot? Yeah, I'll... Wolfgang, fucking grab it. If Wolfgang I'll does grab it. Alright, I drop the form. The moment Wolfgang has it, I drop the form, and I go, Thank you very much! And I plunk down 20 gold pieces on the counter. It's just a destroyed ceiling. Yeah, she she looks down at the gold as you guys walk away. <laughs> and I was, as we're walking away, as uh, they're walking away, other foreigners, while not brawny, do have strength just like that. Leave. Be careful, foreigners. And he walks away. This and is my as new you... son, I say, as I hold the tree in my hand, my arms. <laughs> And as you wander into the town, uh, T-Wig's newfound friend in hand, I feel like this is a (laughs) decent spot to end this session.